try to think about how the Hawaiian Islands formed. So here we are, I'm Dr. Brian Thomas of the Institute for Creation Research on Maui, looking at a lava field. This lava erupted in the 1970s, so we know when it erupted because we saw it. There's eyewitnesses to that event. But how do you know when lava erupted that no one saw? And so there's one cool way to test radioisotope dating, and that is to use radioisotopes to try to assign an, an age estimate for lava that someone did see when it formed. So we can compare the actual date, the eyewitness date, with the isotope age estimate. And one of the first uh, scientists uh, did it here on, uh, on, the, on the big island of Hawaii, and he used lava rocks of historical lava rocks, where we know when they formed. He used a, a method that, that involved uh, measuring uh, argon isotopes, isotopes of the element argon. So what's the, what they do is they measure uh, uh, isotopes, and then they convert the isotope ratio, this isotope to that isotope, they convert that into an age estimate. And when he went through that process, not just with Hawaiian lavas, but with uh, lavas from, from all over the globe, uh, in different publications, not just him, different scientists from around the world for decades have, have consistently uh, come up with isotope age estimates that are orders of magnitude older than the actual known age. So here I am in Maui and looking at these lava rocks and I'm thinking, this is fantastic because I've got, I've got an example in my hand of the very kind of lava rock that Dalrymple tested in 1969 and published in the technical literature showing that, uh, for example, 1.6 million years for a lava that erupted in 1800 or 1801. So it's a historical lava flow and it got the totally wrong isotope age. So that tipped us off at the Institute to thinking maybe there's a trend and tendency here. So we've done our own uh, uh, radio dating uh, over the years, sending rock samples carefully collected to standard labs, and in like manner of what's been published in the literature, we get uh, the wrong ages for rocks of known age. So this gives us confidence that the radioisotope dating systems that uh, so many people rely on as though it's like people were there and saw the rock form, it's not, it's not that case at all. It's really bad science, uh, and we can test it. We can test the validity of radioisotope dating by testing eight, the ages of known rocks. And in almost every case when that's done, the, the isotope age ends up way wrong and orders of magnitude wrong. So we have rocks of known age and they consistently test the wrong isotope age. And that gives us confidence that isotope uh, systems have big, big problems and it's bad, bad science. Which leads us to thinking about what? The Bible with its eyewitness testimony of history being where we go for our history.